Welcome to our Web Extra here, Extra Course on ABC7, Chicago.com. We're at CIRA, which is on the first floor of the new Hoxton Hotel. Part two of my report last week, we talked about Cabra up on the roof. That's more Peruvian. Down here is Mediterranean, Middle Eastern, and Turkish. And speaking of Turkish, Chris Pandel, bless his heart, every day they offer a Turkish breakfast here at the hotel. I have loved this. I've fallen in love with Turkish breakfast since I was in Turkey about a month or so ago. And it really begins with simit. This is the ubiquitous uh, bagel, uh, bread. Uh, it's encrusted in sesame seeds. Typically, uh, it's also first, um, like not steamed, but it's like dipped in grape molasses and then sesame seeds and then baked. They don't do the grape molasses thing first here. This is actually a little bit bigger of a simit. Normally, they're a little bit thinner um, and more round. But again, bless him for doing the simit. I'm going to take a little bit off here. And I'll tell you about the rest of the items on this tray. So we've got fresh goat cheese from Prairie Fruits Farm downstate with some nigella seeds. Muhammara, this is a little spread, a dip with walnuts and fresh dill. A house-made yogurt they have here with a little bit of cumin and cardamom. Some imported olives. You've got to have olives when you're talking about Turkish breakfast, uh, Turkish food of any kind. A little bit of a salad here, fresh cherry tomatoes, a hazelnut duka, kind of a spice. Um, some uh, hard-boiled egg with a little bit of Aleppo pepper. Um, and then a sujuk. Now, sujuk typically in Turkey is a dried beef sausage. They don't dry it here. This is a softer, fresher sausage. And then some blueberry preserves. And some tea, of course, because you got to have tea when you're in Turkey. Before your Turkish coffee, you have, this is actually called kavalti, before coffee, you'd have it with tea. But you typically would take the simit into some of the um, kaimak, which would be a different kind of a cultured cream cheese, if you will. But in this case, we could do it in the yogurt. I would like some honey, because you want to have a little bit of sweet with the tart. Uh, but you could do this. You could dip it in a little bit of the molasses uh, or the preserves. You have a little bit of an olive. And kind of take your time. It's very relaxing. There's not a rush. Turkish kavalti, Turkish breakfast should be enjoyed with others. Have to sip your tea, enjoy the simit, and just kind of relax here on the first floor at the Hoxton Hotel while you have a Turkish breakfast. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.